Hello and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. In today's edition, we finna make a robot looking thing out of some metal parts and stuff. Also, I want to talk about something. Several of y'all have asked me, Craft Man, how do I solder my joints if it's right next to another joint without making that joint come loose or desolder? I'm going to show y'all a simple trick to fix that. First of all, we're going to need us some little parts. Thankfully, I got Buku parts all up over my shop. Little pieces of uh, nuts, bolts, hardware, nails, little odd and things. See this little metal piece right here? This is the main reason I want to make a robot. I found these pieces. I said, look at this. I got to make me some arms or something with this. The robot arm. So I laid them out. I said, we got to have us a little torso body. I didn't know about that gear. That might be a little bit hard to uh, solder to get that hot enough. I mean, it's doable, but anyway, let's try these keys for legs, something like that. Just, you got to piddle around with the, I don't know. And I said, look at this oil can right here. I had me a broke oil can. I said, now that's starting to get somewhere to me. And I said, what about maybe some little nail for legs? I like the contrast. Little tiny legs and a big upper body. I said, what about the face? I got this little key looking like a skeleton looking thing. Anyway, I figured that whenever I do the arms, I could just tack it on to the body. But I said, no, nah, let's try to make us some little swivel. So I got me a little shoulder joint piece like this. I kind of filed it out, opened up a little bit. Made it to where you can turn it around. So we get some extra articulations going. All right. And I said, let's see what we're looking like so far. Got a little legs. Got the shoulder looking. And got the arms, of course, right here. Still ain't got the head yet, though. I don't know. What about this right here? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the flux to my pieces that I'm about to solder. Check out my previous video if y'all need more information about the basis of silver solder. I clip off a couple of pieces of silver solder. I like to do that instead of feeding the solder. I go ahead and stick me a little flux up onto my uh my little silver solder pieces. And then I just carefully set my little deal up like this. This can be frustrating sometimes, but it's worth it getting things lined up. All right. And this is going to make sense how this going to work in a minute. I'm going to show y'all. But for now, just check this out right here. All right. I get that about how I want it. And I give me a little silver. My solder set it into place. And then I start applying the heat to it. I'm going to concentrate uh, more heat on whichever part the thickest metal part. That's the one you're going to need the most heat on. All right. It's kind of a balancing act. you got to heat up both pieces of metal. But whichever one's hottest, the way it's going to go. Remember uh, in my previous video, I said where the heat go, the silver flow. That's just a rule for life. All right. Let it cool down naturally. Do not quench it. That's what we got so far. And then we're just going to repeat the process for that other side. So now y'all can probably see what I'm getting at with this right here. With this, I'm going to go and clean up this little piece. That's going to be my shoulder. I'm going to clean up the little can where I'm going to join it to. See that right there? Nice, good, clean surface. And again, I'm just going to line things up. Get that about like we need it. Does that look good? And then, let me just make sure I got this thing right. All right. Then I'm going to take my little piece of uh, silver solder. And I'm going to set that right on that joint like that right there. 
So what should happen is that when I heat this up, is that it should seep in to fill in all the little joints, kind of go around it. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, just, uh, you know, be careful whenever you solder and things that might have some kind of oil or something like that in it. As you can see, this is all flaming up everywhere. Ooh, yeah. yeah, just be careful with that kind of stuff. This is the trick that I want to show y'all. I got my joints set up right here. But look over here. See this? I don't want to melt that joint. And if I start heating up the uh, right side, that left side is going to come loose. What can we do? This is a trick I call dirty paper towel water looking doing trick. You take your old uh, paper towel and some uh, nasty water. It ain't got to be nasty water. Just some wet paper towel. And put that over your joint like that right there. That's going to help keep it cool while you work on the joint that's right next to it. This is one of my favorite tricks about soldering. And I've been wanting to do this for a while to show y'all the possibilities that you can do. Don't be afraid. And then boom, there it go. You seen that? It just kind of wicks around that joint. And look, I know some of y'all experts out there watching this saying, Crab, man, you sloppy. I can silver saw the way 100 times better than that. Probably so. All right, so this is what we're looking like. It's done cooled off, and I'm just testing it to make sure everything's staying together, that the joints is rotating like I want them to. Now we're just to make the legs. He needs something to stand on. So again, take your time. This can be a little bit finicky doing this little stuff like this right here. But don't let it uh, aggravate you. Just take your time. Place everything like it needs to. Simultaneously at the same time. All right. So we're just going to apply the heat. The nails are going to be the ones that take the longer to heat up. So I kind of... Uh, tendency to get them a little bit more hot than that little thin metal you see that and then it just kind of smooths over this is what I decided on for the head I'm gonna take these two little pieces like this right here and use my titanium clips titanium Check out this, look. That little piece done fell out up underneath it. Watch that little, you saw how smooth that was? That's what we want to happen. Now I'm about to drill me a little uh, hole right in the, in the middle of the, uh, the chest piece. Let's do some little ornamental looking thing. What y'all think about that? I kind of like that, but it don't fit to it real good off to the sides. Then I found this right here. I said, that's kind of neat. I kind of like that right though. I don't know. I could just put a screw in it, I guess. I don't know. So, I'm drilling me a piece of copper. All right, I got two holes in what I did that for is I'm gonna put me a couple magnets up in this. I said, I ain't done too much with magnets in my videos. Let's get some magnets up in this right here. So I'm gonna uh, attach me a little uh, steel ball to this to make a ball joint. And on the top of the body, I'm gonna solder the, uh, that's gonna be the neck ball joint looking thing. And do y'all see that I got my, uh, my dirty wet paper towel looking trick going too, to protect them arms and my shoulder joints. Got that going. Let that cool off. All right. Go take you a little break. Now this right here, the hand. I got three 
a uh, little joints that I did right here at the same time on this one. I got all kind of clamp, every clamp that I could find holding the fingers in place. And now I'm just assembling the, uh, connecting the head to the neck joint. Do y'all remember that Flintstones commercial? This shoulder bone? Anyway, this right here got me a little bit, a little bit perplexed. Look at that. See that? It goes to one side or the other. So I got to fix that. But in the meantime, we need some communications antenna. Look at that. Now you can communicate with everybody. He need a saw blade and a pirate hook too. And now I'm about to black wash this. I didn't feel like it was dirty enough. I said, this thing got to look like it's grimy, oily. Just been wandering through the wasteland. Look at it. I printed me out some faces. I got my one inch hole punch popped out there. Look at that. Hello. And we got a face on it. Some personality instantaneous. All right. And I thought y'all might would like that. But I want to show y'all how that you can do joints that's next to each other. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I just want to say thank you for keep on watching my video. Be patient with me. I know my voiceover a little different on this one right here because I'm using a brand new uh, camera. I'm waiting on my new microphone shotgun mic to come in so that I can record uh, directly onto my camera. But for now, I'm doing a voiceover on the computer. So that's why I probably sound a little bit different today. But anyway, I hope y'all like this. Thank y'all for keep on watching. And keep steady crafting.